Wedding Boot Campers, Dina Castillo here from Unikiss Fitness. We are in week three of the Wedding Boot Camp program. Um, we're here this week to talk about knowing your number. Now that we're in week three, this is where you should see some of your body making changes. So maybe it's a decrease in clothing size, things fitting a little bit looser, your body weight going down, body fat decrease, all of those. But it's so important that we know this number. The number that we need is your resting metabolic rate. And this number tells us how many calories on a day-to-day -day basis your body needs to maintain normal body functioning. So for your skin to function, your hair, your nails to grow, your central nervous system, the muscles, everything head to toe inside and out. So on day one of class, we did a fitness assessment on you and we did a bunch of measurements from the scale. You probably remember maybe your weight, your body fat, but not your resting metabolic rate. So we've got that number on file for you. If you don't have it, just email us, support at weddingbootcamp.com. Um, the key thing about that number is that it's going to go ahead and account for the majority of calories that your body burns on a daily basis. Now, if we consume more calories than our body needs, then we know that's going to be weight gain. But we need to know what that number is, where our starting point is. So let's make sure that we grab that number. A quick example of that is going to be if somebody's resting metabolic rate is 1,200 calories for the day, and they're actually consuming maybe more, maybe about 1,700 calories, they're already over 500 calories per day times seven days a week. That's 3,500 calories. That's equal to one pound of weight gain per week. So make sure that you know that number. It's going to help us, challenge us to keep those numbers low so we can see the results of the body fat, the weight loss, or maintaining, depending on your goal. So go ahead and email support at weddingbootcamp.com to grab your number. And also a challenge for you this week, as well as going into week four, track that food if you haven't yet. Email us your food log, and let's see how close you are to that resting metabolic rate.